हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल माय सेल्फ पराग जांबुलकर इन लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव सीन एक्सेप्शन मेथड्स इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी हाउ टू क्रिएट आवर ओन एक्सेप्शन क्लास सो सी लास्ट टाइम इन लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव सीन दिस एग्जांपल एंड वी हैव कॉल दिस मेथड्स राइट गेट कॉल्स गेट मैसेज गेट लाइन नंबर गेट स्टैक टेस्ट स्ट्रिंग गेट टाइप नेम नाउ इन दिस वीडियो व्हाट वी विल डू विल क्रिएट आवर ओन एक्सेप्शन क्लास एंड इन प्रीवियस वीडियो इन प्रीवियस एग्जांपल we have used this exception class right math exception now we will create our own exception class and we will use here now see i am closing this so we want to create our own class right so for that we will go to file new apex class we will give some name so we will give name new exception so any name you can give but there is one restriction that it should end in exception in word exception i cannot write exception 1 i cannot write class name new exception 1 because there is a restriction here that class name should be new exception means uh, it should ends at exception word only now see i am removing this one okay now see as we have added this exception words in our class name so automatically it has added extends exception so here we are using concept of inheritance exception is standard class and actually it is a super class of all the exception classes means uh, math exception null pointer exception dma exception all these exception classes had super class exception so as we are creating our own exception class and as we have mentioned exception word in our class name automatically it has added self for say added this line this keyword extends exception okay so by this we have created our own class right so no more code we have written just we have created our class now see i am saving it okay now we'll open our anonymous window okay so now uh, what we will do instead of this math here we'll write new exception now see what we'll do here i am adding condition so before that what we'll do we'll take two variables integer a is equal to 10 and b is equal to 0 and here we will put one condition if b is equal to 0 then we will throw exception new and our class name is new exception right our class name is new exception like this new exception right new exception so that class name here will mention throw new exception like this and else otherwise we will calculate our result right so if b is equal to 0 then we will throw exception otherwise we will calculate our result right now see we will run our code let us see okay we will click on debug only so here you can see so see uh, get calls null message script thrown exception why we are getting script thrown exception because here we have used keyword throw line number 5 stack trace so name of the block line number and column then type name new exception because our class name is new exception so in this way we have created our own exception class and we have called these methods now we'll do some changes so see in this case we got message script thrown exception right script thrown exception now what we will do we'll override get message method see here we have used this method right get message now what we can do in this new exception class we will override this get message method so see here we'll write code so see here we'll override get message method public now see this get message method return string so that's why here we will write string that is a return type and get message likewise and what it is returning some message so here we will write some message so suppose uh, we will write divide by 0 exception something like this okay 
so this thing it will return right so we are overriding this get message now see we will save it so see when we are trying to save this class we are getting one issue right here you can see problem one. if there is any problem so that problem will come to know from this tab problem here you can see so see new exception class line number two okay in this line number two method must use the override keyword so here we will write keyword override so see override like this now we will save it okay so no error okay our program got saved and there is no problem right now we will open our anonymous window okay so same methods we will call okay we will click on execute debug only so here you can see message we have overrided this get message method right so because of that we got this our own message divide by zero exception right so in this way we can override any predefined method so in this video we have seen how to write our own exception class and how to override any predefined method which is given by exception class so friends i hope you like this video if it is then click on like subscribe to the channel and don't forget to press bell icon so that you will get notification of my next video so stay connected thank you